All right, I'm with Douglas. Uh, how long have you been here in Vancouver for? I have been in Vancouver for just about a year. A year? But before that, I was in Montreal. Okay, and how are you finding Vancouver? Oh, it's amazing. I, I love the, it's the, first of all, I like the, the weather here. Yeah. It's more friendly to, to me, especially coming from Ghana in Africa. And I love the people here. They are more friendly. Not more friendly, more like than Montreal, but equally. Yeah. Different, different kind different, of people. Different, yeah. but yeah. Nice. nice. And how long have you been a devotee for? Oh, I've been a devotee for about six, seven years. Okay. Yeah, I was raised up from a, in a Christian background. I have, I have a Christian background and I, it happened that um, I was kind of fanatic. I, yeah, I, I believed in everything, um, in like any Christian beliefs in. So like the belief that um, Christianity is the only way and all anybody who be, who belong to any other faith is lost and so I, I wasn't like tolerant of other faiths so I had this argument kind of fight with my class teacher and yeah it was a long fight and in the end he was able to convince me that um, apart from the Bible there are some other scriptures which, which also talk about God and which also um, should be considered basically. Mm -hmm. So, so then I was I became respect, receptive to to read those scriptures and and then what is interesting is that now after after reading the other scriptures, I have come to understand more more um, the Bible not on a on a superficial level, but on a deeper level. Because when we go deeper, it's, 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 it's essentially the same. All the, all the scriptures are talking about the same thing, like how to love God and how to love your, your neighbor as yourself. But, but it is presented in different ways according to time, place, and circumstances. So you say you read a lot of scriptures. What are some of the, the other scriptures, scriptures that you've read? Yeah, basically, I've I've read most of most of the books presented by uh, the founder Acharya of ISKCON, uh, AC Bhakti Vilanda Swami Prabhupada. Um, our main book is the Bhagavad Gita, and right from the beginning of the Bhagavad Gita, you 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 see the it's very important that um, everybody know who they are because if 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 we don't know who we are, then it will be very difficult for for us to for us to get everything else right. We, we we wouldn't know what really makes us happy. Everybody is searching for happiness. But if we don't know who we are, then we wouldn't know what really makes us happy. And then we will we will try to we will try to find happiness in relation to our false identity, and we always get it wrong. So right from the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna tells Arjuna who, who he is. Because Arjuna, Arjuna is thinking in terms of bodily, bodily relations. And Krishna, Krishna, Krishna imparts the knowledge to Arjuna that you are, you, are not a, you are not a body, and you are something more, more than a body. Yeah. So how is this journey, because you said you started out as kind of a fanatic Christian, so how is this journey from that extreme to finding yourself in the Hare Krishna movement? Uh, it, has been, it has been, I would say, challenging initially. Initially, I... I kind of because everybody was telling me hey you you know in the bible where like if you don't believe in jesus you're going to suffer eternally in hell and everybody 
everybody was like, hey Douglas, you, you, you might be a good person, blah, 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 but if you don't believe in Jesus, you, you're going to end up in hell, you know? So, and my parents were also um, not encouraging, you know? They, everybody thought I was lost. And everybody was telling me, Douglas, you are lost. So I kind of initially tried to kind of hide like what I'm doing from people. And later on, I'm like, this thing I'm doing is making me happy. So I should, I should like, instead of hiding, I should come out and, and, and try to try to tell people that what, what they think about me is, is not it's not true because because I'm as, like like I'm I am putting into practice what what I have learned from these books and I am experiencing the, the results. So I wanted to share with other people. So so on Facebook everywhere I started like Coming open, and then, and then I, I also tried as I tried as much as possible because not to become a fanatic Hare Krishna member, you know. Because I, 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 I am not like, oh, Hare Krishna is the is the only way is the. Only truth, and if you don't belong to Hare Krishna, you are lost. So, so I think fanatism only happens when people remain at the surface and they don't get deeper into the faith. Because if if we go very deep into into the faith, we will, we will know that we are from one common source, and we have we have uh, kind of we have a common destiny. And we have the same fundamental problems, even though we try to address them a different way. And we have we have a common goal, even though we are we seem to be going through different processes on the surface. But if you if you go deeper, we, we we will know that there are no conflicts at all. How is your relationship with your family now that you're? Is it yeah. strained a little? Because religion can oftentimes divide and polarize people. Do you do you find that at all? You don't have to answer that question because that's very personal. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> the question. Um, yeah, um, my relationship with my I'm kind of some people can find me a bit stubborn because if I if I get convinced that this is this is what I want to do. I really go ahead to do it. So, so I think my parents, my dad, my mom, when they realized that they can't stop me, they they just let me do whatever I want to do. But later on, they they I think they found out that I wasn't like because most of my friends started drinking and I wasn't drinking. Most of my friends doing other things that become problem for parents, and my parents realized I wasn't doing those things. And so I think at some at some point they 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 became appreciated. And then my mom, my mom, at, sometimes in Ghana she she used to go with me to some of the programs, so educational programs. So yeah, so they it, we don't have. I, do, I have a very cordial relationship with my parents and most of the time we, we don't talk about religion but even when we talk about religion, as long as we don't stay, I, I, I try not to stay on the surface, like go deeper, find, try to find the common ground and, and we get along very well. Excellent. Yeah. And what is like one of the main things that you've learned from Hare Krishna, that is really important to you. Yeah, one of one of the main thing I learned about Hare Krishna that is very important to my life mm -hmm. is 
is, is about love, compassion, mercy. You know? if, you, if you read about our founder, uh, Acharya Bhaktivedanta Swami, he, that, this, is his, his, this was his very life. He was still so old and he was, he was um, living spiritually comfortably in, in Vrindavan and he left everything behind and he, he traveled through difficult situations like kind of he, 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 he had several heart attacks on, 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 the, on, the, on the ship to, 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 to New York so, so like you, 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 you find this person who, who, goes, who is so selfless you know trying to share his happiness trying to trying to address uh, the real needs of people, you know. So I I find the people, the people in Hare Krishna who are trying to emulate these qualities in in Prabhupada, and very um, I, I I kind of find that that has have like effect on me, and I'm always trying and praying and doing all I I can. To imbibe, to imbibe in my life these um, great qualities of compassion, mercy, and like caring, not only to not only to souls in human bodies, but, but everything, every everything living, including animals, plants, like to live in harmony with, with nature, environment, everything. Yeah. Excellent. I like that. I don't have any more questions, so if you'd like to add anything else? Uh, yeah, I, I, I would say that um, the people in general are, are looking for happiness, just like myself. And it is important that um, everybody um, Try to know who they are. I think that is that is very fundamental. If you if you don't if if we don't know the who we are and what problems what true problems we have, and then we try to solve to solve problems that we don't really have grasp over them, we will always miss the point. So so I I think that. And I hope that we we spread the message of the Vedic culture, the message of the message in the Bhagavad Gita and and all these books and the message and the mission of the Hare Krishna movement to to as many people as possible so that so that all the people can become happy like the Hare Krishnas. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. That's awesome. <laughs>